So what do man-made climate change, overpopulation, and the safe and effective COVID vaccines have to do with one another? Well, let me tell you, my friends. I'm sure the promoters of the COVID vaccine never imagined in their wildest dreams that the safe and effective vaccine could also help in dealing with climate change. Bold statement? Not really. You see, a Canadian public interest research group, Correlation, published a new study yesterday titled COVID-19 Vaccine Associated Mortality in the Southern Hemisphere. The researchers analyzed publicly available all-cause mortality data from 17 countries in the Southern Hemisphere, statistically comparing those figures with data from the vaccine rollout campaigns. When interpreting the data from the planet-saving lens and overpopulation, of course, it's hard to argue that the results point to tremendous benefits for the climate thanks to all those who did their part in taking the vaccines. Doubt my conclusion? Well, in the researcher's own words then. In the 17 countries, there is no evidence in all-cause mortality by time data of any beneficial effect of COVID-19 vaccines. There is no association in time between COVID-19 vaccination and any proportionate reduction in all-cause mortality. The opposite occurs. Nine of the 17 countries have no detectable excess all-cause mortality in the period of approximately one year after a pandemic was declared on the 11th of March, 2020, by the World Health Organization until the vaccines are rolled out. Unprecedented peaks in all-cause mortality occur in the summer, January, February of 2022 in the Southern Hemisphere and in equatorial latitude countries, which are synchronous with or immediately preceded by rapid COVID-19 vaccine booster rollouts, third or fourth doses this phenomena is present in every case with sufficient mortality data in 15 countries. Now, of course, where I would differ with the authors is their conclusion. In my opinion, they illogically concluded that governments should immediately end the policy of promoting the COVID vaccines on vulnerable elderly people. In my opinion, if vulnerable elderly people, or anyone for that matter, wants to do their part in stopping climate change saving the planet through depopulation, they should be free to do so. After all, we've got a planet to save, folks. And according to the experts, well, depends on which one you listen to, of course, we've got anywhere from one to 10 years to do so. So let's get to it. Anyway, if you're interested, I put a link in the notes section to the study so you can see for yourself what wonders this vaccine has done in saving the planet. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Uh, follow me on my Rumble, my locals. If you haven't subscribed to my channels, please do so. You can also follow me on my Twitter at Camera612. And I will see you next time.